hello welcome to my updated youtube channel where from now onwards i'll be focusing more on practical applications of prompt engineering join me as i design prompts and share it with you and also demonstrate how to use these prompts that will take your ai interactions to the next level so sit back relax and enjoy the cybernetic conversations our today's prompt is fashion guru i've named this prompt as fashionista ai i will share this prompt with you later uh, links in the description below i'll be using gpt4 to test this prompt the commands are embedded into the prompt and all you have to do is copy paste the prompt and use the commands uh, one of the commands is slash generate so in order for you to generate a specific fashion design you'll have to write in a slash generate and followed by the command which i'm gonna tell you in just a second so the first command that i'm going to use here is slash generate so i'm going to type in a uh, cool outfit for the above settings and there we go we have chat gpt generating for us a brand new fashion design for the settings that we have given it it's giving me the top bottom shoes and accessories and now what i'm going to do is uh, make the ai generate an art prompt so that i can visualize it so now i'm going to type in slash generate a cool art prompt for the above settings if I give this to the AI, it's going to give me an art prompt that I can use in stable diffusion to visualize the particular fashion. And this is really interesting because you can read uh, the text of the fashion and uh, use that for your everyday use. But when you have, you can take the prompt to the next level by visualizing the fashion that the stable diffusion software can output here i'm writing a few words in the negative prompt so that the picture generation will be much better um, using oversaturated 1.3 under saturated 1.3 and uh, text ugly so having these small keywords in the negative prompt will give you better results I'm gonna use these few settings. You can also try out the same. And I'm gonna reduce the denoising strength a little bit. And there we go. We have the exact fashion art visualized in stable diffusion. This is so smooth. All right, that's pretty neat. We have a beeline neck, we have the sunglasses, everything that is mentioned in the prompt is right there. This didn't turn out well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just skip that one. Just regenerate again. Yeah, I generated one more and uh, I'm getting a decent one. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna copy Personalize, personalization part of the prompt and I'm gonna add in another command which is in the prompt which is update preferences so if I add this command here it will update the preferences and then it will give the fashion prompt based on the updated preferences so i'm going to change the summer to winter and then yeah let's change it to party let's remove the v-neck let's call it none let's make the ai think about that and then send it let's see what the ai outputs now Oh, I'm gonna 
do this as well so I'm gonna put in the command generate an art prompt based on the updated settings so that I will save one message instead of putting it in two different parts GPT-4 is pretty smart in understanding the updated preferences and the command in the same message so now we have a new art prompt for winter let's wait for this AI to finish and then I'm gonna copy paste this to the stable diffusion and see what we get okay we have the prompt generated copy paste generate and let's see hmm a winter party not bad not bad it's uh, coming along good it's wearing a suit fashionable suit fashion designers could gain inspiration from all these designs and then use it and if you want to go to a party you can use similar ideas for changing your fashion okay so now I'm gonna put the same prompt and I'm gonna change say party to sightseeing so we get a sightseeing based art prompt fashion art prompt and let's see how that looks like oh there we go GPT-4 is now generating a sightseeing prompt oh that's a party prompt uh, yeah good but yeah let's see this I want to change the sleeve length to none in the last party prompt this the, the sleeve was half so let's change it to none and oh yeah let's see how the winter wear looks like and yeah go to stable diffusion copy paste hit generate and uh, it when it generates in stable diffusion the, the chat GPT AI is generating here parallel work now we can take in everything what it generates and feed it in here oh yeah the winter prompt the winter fashion prompt is pretty good uh, it's doing some good sightseeing there probably in some street there's a full sleeve party prompt and uh, yeah not bad so I'm gonna copy paste the old sightseeing prompt and then let's see this is a full sleeved winter party prompt which is uh, pretty neat oh yeah the sightseeing prompt let's see the sightseeing fashion prompt the cool thing is that we can ask GPT-4 to generate art prompts for us let's change the gender to female and then yeah let's set the occasion to sightseeing and then yeah see what we get blah 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 mm, this is good I never wondered that we could draw with words until 2023 well 2022 okay so I'm gonna use the other command called slash suggest accessories and make the AI suggest accessories for the settings that I've already given it 
it's giving me some good uh, suggestions there oh now here we have the prompt art prompt of a girl young girl in a winter sightseeing settings mm, not bad no, we have some good accessory suggestions here we can use it what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put all the accessories right there and then see here we don't have sunglasses and whatnot and let's see what we get now oh we have a sunglasses so we can append accessories into the same art prompt and get an updated version of the image in stable diffusion and that's absolutely brilliant there we have it there we have it we have the jewelries we have the glove we have the backpack we have the sunglasses all good So I'm gonna ask it to recommend me some other colors for the same setting and it's gonna give me some absolutely brilliant colors for winter sightseeing fashion design I'm sure GPT has all that knowledge let's see what it comes up with rich burgundy let's see what color is that Yeah, I'm gonna just copy paste my previous command and then say hmm polish green looks good but yeah let's go with rich burgundy so use rich burgundy color theme what color is that Burgundy. Is it violet or is it purple? Ah, oh, come on, network error. Sometimes it happens. Let's refresh the page. So now we have uh, the GPT-4 generating another art prompt for the same settings with burgundy color. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have patience to read the whole thing because a picture really means a thousand words. Now with stable diffusion and chat GPT. Oh that's burgundy color. Oh that's burgundy color. It's it's red. It's red. Okay. Now let's get a burgundy fashion. How does that fashion look like? Oh there we go. That's the exact color. That's the exact burgundy color that we searched. Cool. There we go, folks. This is how we use ChatGPT prompt to generate amazing fashion designs and feel free to use it as you wish. And if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with more amazing prompt designs.